Cool. Just days away from your first title defense. Give me an idea. What's the emotion? What's the excitement level like for you right now? Uh, it's pretty. It's like this, you know. It's uh, trying to keep a you know constant equilibrium, trying to stay focused and just um, just be ready. You've had the admirable attitude, right, of saying, hey, it's not like a tile defense. I want to feel like I go out there and win every time. I think that's a great attitude. But, but does it feel any different to me? Is there maybe a little more confidence or, you know, maybe something a little different knowing you are the champion? I am the champ. <laughs> I am the best in the world. It's, it's awesome. It's a great feeling. Like it's, but like I said, it doesn't define me, but it's, it's an accomplishment. It's a, it's a testament to all the 25 years of hard work that I've done. And um, that's just that's one of the three things that uh, I've I've knocked off on my bucket list to the buy a house, become the champ, and be a millionaire by the time I was 25. So these are, uh, we got two of those already. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. How, talk to me about the preparation because your performance last time was flawless, right? I mean, so do you make adjustments or do you go in there going, everything worked last time, let's do that again? Um, like I said in the, in the press conference, my, you know, I'm like a tree. My leaves might change color, but my roots are the same. So what makes me me and what, uh, what works for me and is what's important is not going to change. But, um, yeah, I'm going to add little embellishments or I'm going to get rid of things that don't work. Um, and, and little things, little, yeah, little details. But, uh, but yeah, just, just keep the foundation strong. Nice. You know, and you, you predicted everything that she would do last time, you know, the, the way she would act, the way she would try to intimidate you. Of course, she's a little bit different this week. I think probably getting knocked out makes you do that, right? So what do you do this time? Do, do you have an idea? I mean, are you anticipating how she's going to act, how she's going to move? Are, are you, are, is she still living up to the playbook you think you have on her? Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've thought that she's going to be a little bit more respectful, you know. Um, and at the same time, I'm also just in the present moment. You know, I'm not looking too far ahead or too far behind. You know, I'm not going to, like, dwell on the past. I'm not going to look forward. So I'm just going to just be here and now and, um, you know, and rely on my instincts. Nice. Now, I apologize because it sounded like you were asking or answering the same question we came up, but the finger. We wanted to get the update on the finger. <laughs> Everybody noticed it yesterday. It didn't look like it was bothering you, like, in the actual workout, but yeah. what, what, what happened? Yeah, I just cut my uh, – I was walking up the steps, and I – it was a dark hallway, and the, the – old like building you know has all actually I almost stepped on a piece of metal shard on the on the mat too so I, yeah I don't know I'm dodging dodging bullets and everything but uh yeah I was walking up the steps and I, I cut my finger like uh grabbing the railing so this is literally like just like right before the the media day started or the press conference started yeah like literally like as we're getting ready to do that so yeah but uh I didn't have a band-aid at the time and then we just kind of we just kind of MacGyvered something at the time and uh yeah. So no stitches or anything that <laughs> no, would end no, the fight? it's not too bad. It's about, like, that big, yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, let's talk about just how you think the fight's going to go because, again, it's such a flawless performance last time out. I mean, are you – do you have the expectations that you can go do that again or do you have to ready yourself for something different? How do you think this fight's going to go? Um, I think expectations set you up for – disappointment or you know I, I I try not to expect nothing you know um, of course there's there's uh, I like to to play with possibilities and I visualize certain things like let them let let certain visuals come to me in my head and and use logic to kind of you know deduce the, the the likelihood of certain scenarios um, but I just got to trust in my training and you know just let it happen naturally you hope you're the main event next time out if you defend this title I mean uh, a lot of attention, you know, on, on, on the main event. You, you were kind of sitting up there at the press conference. It looked like you were almost meditating a little bit as all this stuff was going on. Do, do you hope you're the center of attention next time, or does that matter to you? It don't matter to me, man. I, I just like to fight, and uh, if, if people want to pay attention, then that's cool. If not, you know, I'm just going to keep doing my thing.